the connection with it being Native American, uh, it just kind of rings a bell with me that we have been chastised for this before. Ah. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody asked where the name was from and uh, I was from... Mm let them know that it was Native American. I, I just, for some reason, I just suddenly like <laughs> got the connection that I knew that. But then right. I couldn't remember where, ah. where, I, where I knew it from. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the game is up and it's ready to go. The final is on. Fantastic. Interested to take a peek at which... It's X. Hale and Hodak. Is it Rascal? Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's the quadruple urchin deck versus the the one that we've just seen. Oh wow! Great, yeah, great work, uh, great work, uh, Osram, to take Hale this far. Mm, yeah, um, for sure. That's impressive. That's impressive. And then Hodak the bookish. Interestingly, is not a board heavy deck, so Hale is certainly not in a terrible matchup here. Yeah, it's not one Quixel of those... Stone can be worked around. Quixel Stone can be worked around with the um, with an early uh, uh, Seeker Needle. So um, this will be an interesting matchup. This will be very good. I'm asking for okay to start. I think so. Brilliant. Here we go. The final. Uh, Osram on the first player, seven card hand. Mm-hmm. No one has mulliganed. Mm. Let's see what the lights. opener is from an amorphous. Great Oof. opener for that deck. Quick stone straight away. Oh, a quick quick stone and discarding. So, <laughs> wow. so setting out the Morpheus going to double any play effects. There's not really any amper to steal. And then Quixel Stone, uh, Quixel Stone into discarding all those creatures so nothing else can get played. Buckle in. I hope you don't have any evening plans or early, early, early morning plans if you're in Europe. <laughs> because <laughs> this is about to get messy. Yeah, that's, that sets the tone right from this, the first turn. It's true. It's true. I think uh, I think Osram has a good out here with the urchins, and um, if mm-hmm. they can get rid of their own Morpheus, they've gotten out with the urchins and the Seeker Needle. Like that could do wonders yeah. for them. Um, but we'll we'll see we'll see what they can we'll see what they can play into here. Uh, and I've just received in the mail, I won one of the giveaways on Tabletop Royale, and now I have two two packs of 100 katana sleeves. Awesome. Yeah. Bright red. Very lovely. Nice. Well done on winning the giveaway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's funny, to actually bribe them to rig it for me, it cost more <laughs> than purchasing it. These would have, so it wasn't very efficient. <laughs> Uh, Jose, let's see, got rid of, uh, okay, Jose playing lab work, also nerve blasting, yep, nerve blasting their own Morpheus, stealing one, so getting up to five amber, good works there, um, let's see, back to, oh man, they're playing fast, catching up here, okay, also from Taleka, uh, also from Taleka on check, seven amber keys cost six, back over to Jose, diving into Mars. Picking up their archives. There's a battle fleet. Drawing four cards. Let's see if they got the fortunate draw there. There's a shadow okay, Shatterstorm to literally reset the game. 
Martians make bad allies to purge. Four cards, discarding Marauder. Mm. If not Val Jericho, that director of ZYX is a great single creature to have out for Quixel Stone. All of their uh, Martian. Discarding down to six, discarding all of their Martian creatures. <laughs> wow. Nothing in play for Taleka here. Nothing in play. Where will they go? Down for Amber after being Shatterstormed. Nice. That Shatterstorm, I'm definitely a high performer for people, for Hail, or uh, Hodak pilots. Rager, Mind Warper, which uh, maxes out Ostrom's budget on creatures, allowing Jose to play two or three, if he so chooses, going into Logos. Opening with Eureka, always a great opener. Going up to seven, so a strong check there. Discarding the Binate Rupture. Reaping with Director, passing turn. And there's the first check. I think also, uh, I think uh, Osram got to check earlier, but then got Shatterstormed. Ah, uh, yes. I think. That is the thing. Oh. Disruption field on director of ZYX. Ooh, good play. Strong play. So Jose will have to kill kill the very good creature if they want that disruption field to go. Discarding Morpheus, discarding Chan, Garcia's Blaster onto the Stim Rager. Over to Jose. What's the response? Jose will forge. Let's ram getting a good board position, getting some good cards out there, but not really getting a lot of amber on that turn. Jose forging yellow. Picking a house. So I have a couple of choices here. There's a bunch in archives. There's a bunch in archives, and I believe, yes, we've only seen one battle fleet. So there might be a battle fleet, which would, depending on the number of Mars cards left, might be able to redraw that deck. Yeah, did uh, discard a bunch of Mars cards early on, but there's still plenty more. Yeah, there's at least the Battlefleet deck, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the discard pile. Star Alliance is the call from Jose. Lay of the land. Mm -hmm. Looking at rearranging the drawing. Discarding. Discarding subject Kirby. To ping that Mind Warper for one entire damage, getting an amber off of Forging Alliance and passing the turn. Okay. Solid. A little bit of, yeah, well, a little bit of amber while they, uh, just basically get rid of cards they didn't want in their hand. <laughs> yeah, slow and steady. Yeah. Pulling an amber onto that director. Simrager fighting into that elusive... And it should kill the director. Yep. Yeah. So taking out the director, no creatures. Yeah. Man. That was a very committed to very committed to the Quicksilver Stone play here. Dropped it early. I've been playing around it. Standardized testing to wipe the opponent's board. Sloppy lab work. If Jose doesn't play any creatures, that will allow Osram only one. But it's a good one. Urchin. And there's the Seeker Needle. Yep. Oh, yes. 
Yes. There, there is the out awesome needs is urchin seeker needle. And of course, that, it's three that more of those. Is, that is the loophole. Yep. That is the loophole that's, I think, going to get Osram to kind of catch back up. They're really not mm -hmm. that far behind, relatively speaking. Um, but with that setup, I think that's going to be uh, that's going to be magic. And this is a uh, round five finals or round six, which round is six. We've actually went the whole way. Round six. Yeah. So round six, and these were our two five O's, uh, Jay Philippeg, uh, Jose from Keyforge Granada, and then um, Osram to Leica. Yeah, but I'm really liking this setup for for Ostrom here. And there's the battle fleet. Battle fleet. It's a big one, so we're gonna have another one, I guess. Yep. Seven cards. They will probably see the other battle fleet. There it is. So I feel like this is, this is Hodak's optimal cycle, right? Mm -hmm. Is because uh, Jose got to your, you know, five zero with this deck and is confidently playing Quixel Stone, uh, playing next to no creatures and then just battle fleeting, um, which honestly they don't have a lot of amber pips in. Uh, they don't have a lot of amber pips in Mars and uh, the the Martians make bad allies is really the big play. Um, Yes, that, that really comboed play. with the uh, the Star Alliance card that lets them forge. So they just build up uh, a stupid yes. amount of amber and then go, okay, I'll have a key now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord of Winter, uh, I don't know if that's a joke or it is double battle fleet is, is what it is. Old uh, Coda Mars double battle fleet. Ooh, and I like... Um, uh, I do like the choice to play out the Ether Spider and the Grabber Jammer. Those are two must mm -hmm. deal with cards at this point for us from Taleka. And getting rid of the Urchin before uh, he can capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Smart plays from Jose here. Controlling the game exactly how they want to control the game, keeping the just aggressive burst steal it all deck at bay. So much discarding. So much discarding in this game. Yeah, uh, that's a good point, Jay Philippeg. The, the Urchin does... Uh, if they kept the Urchin on board, it would limit the options because Os um, Osram is going to have another Urchin because they've got four, right? That they can just play, steal, Seeker Needle, and then open it up again, so... Ooh, that's a... a... A meaty Martians make battle. Oh man, um, that is a meaty one, isn't it? There is a too much to protect. Yeah, and there it is. Of course, of course. That's that's the thing. Too much to protect. All going on to that Ether Spider. Earth Urchin Fagin Seeker Needle. So it is good for Jose. It's all in the spider because. Um, <laughs> Usram is going to have to do some work to get uh, to get that off the spider because they just have tiny little creatures they've been putting out. For sure. I do not miss old bait and switch spider interactions. Those were not <laughs> fun for me. <laughs> you are alone in that all for one gaming. Alone. Oh, binate rupture while it's captured Oof. on the ether spider. Oh. Eey. Oh, that was planned. <laughs> that was premeditated murder. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Because, yeah, if you've got the Ether Spider out and they get a crap ton of amber, you can just buy Nate Rupture because they didn't take it. Man, mm -hmm. love it. Good plays. Good plays. Tram confidently going into Star Alliance here. Confidently going to Star Alliance. Double pumping up Garcia. that key cost. Very good. Very good. Yep. Probably going to let Jose forge for a very large amount of amber. Chan's blaster coming out. Discarding the Kirby. Very nice. That was a good move. They just need a still still short on the damage. They need a little bit of extra damage from hand if they go back into Star Alliance. Osram could pump up the key cost and fight into the spider. Mm-hmm. Um, but that still just keeps until they actually get the amber off of the spider. All that does is keep Jose um, 
keep Jose slightly at bay. Jose paying 10, paying through the nose for this key, for the blue key here. Great timing by Osram. A good call. Eureka from Jose, which is a, a great move. And, oh, is that it? That's Just it. a Eureka? Yep. <laughs> Just a Eureka. And fascinating. Uh, this is a, just a fascinating deck and has created fascinating choices for Jose and how Jose has figured out how to play it. Um, uh, how to play uh, with this particular mix of deck. Yep. Just uh, slamming, slamming both Garcias, discarding a bunch. Excuse me. And, and we've watched Jose play uh, a few times with this deck now, and each game he's adapted it slightly differently depend uh, to fit the situation and, and done that really well. It's true. Finite Rupture again. Man. Or was that a discard button? By net rupture, excuse me. Uh, no, it was. It was actually played. So there's now a 19 amber on that Ether Spider. However, um, <coughs> Jose is now on 10 amber. <coughs> and that's it. It is over. Excuse my hiccups here. They're distracting. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Uh, great play. Great play by uh, by Jose there. The game ending with their opponent with 24 amber. That is something else. Yeah, just just not quite uh, not quite anything that uh, Ocean could do there. Yeah, and Jose just making sm smart plays with how they set up the board, and then just leaned into just one card a turn. Binate Rupture, Eureka, uh, real smart. Real smart. Excuse me. Yes, and congrats to Jose on winning, especially in your first.